next story is about an unusual missionary homecoming. The Stellar Park in Chandler, Arizona isn't normally associated with returning missionaries. But then, not every missionary ends up in the situation of Elder Tyler Watson and his family. Tyler was born in Arizona, but his family had lived in Oregon for 14 years. While awaiting his mission call, his parents were contemplating moving back to Arizona, something they hadn't shared with the family. His mom, Summer Watson, was given a little warning about what was coming. Something that was kind of interesting, a week before he got his call, I was standing in the bathroom just curling my hair and, and the thought came to me, Tyler's going to Arizona, and I thought, no, no, that couldn't be. And um, then when he got his call and he opened it and he said he was going to the Tempe, Arizona mission, um, it was just reaffirmed to me that that's really where he was supposed to go, even though we were heading to Arizona. Well, Tyler was called to Arizona and his family followed him about nine months later. While they worked hard to keep from crossing paths, his father did run into him at the temple one time and Elder Watson was allowed to attend his older brother's wedding. As the end of his mission neared, the specifics of his return home, just a few miles from the mission office, had to be planned. Somebody had come up and asked me, you know, what are you going to do for your son to bring him home? And um, I said, well, we'll just go pick him up at the mission home and bring him home. And a lady in our ward said, no, 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 we got to do something fun. And Well, apparently my wife, uh, friend Belinda, it was her idea that suggested that since he didn't get to arrive home in, a, in an airliner at an air, big airport with a family waiting, that uh, we do it with a little airplane and fly him to Chandler Airport and Stellar Airport. On the final day of his mission, with Brother Watson homesick with the flu, Sister Watson picked up Tyler at the mission office and took him to the state president's office to be released. That's when Tyler had the first inkling he wouldn't simply be driving home. I was going to the state president's office and he says, Did you tell him about the flying? And my mom said, Shh, be quiet. And so then I was like, What? Next stop to meet Boyd Chesley at the Chandler Airport. He uh, flew Tyler around for about 45 minutes, flew him over some of the areas that he taught in. Yeah, I let him fly too. <laughs> flew over two of my areas I, I, worked, I served in, so it was pretty fun to see him. And he got his first taste of weightlessness too. Yeah. So surviving his first flying lesson and some mid-trip acrobatics, Tyler touched down safely at Stellar Airport with family members, friends, and new ward members ready to greet him. While both his family following him to his mission and his small plane return were unusual, the warm reception and feelings of a mission well served are familiar to many. <laughs> That's right. This is Emma Olmsted from Stellar Air Park in Chandler, Arizona, reporting for Mormon Web TV.